Eating. It's one of the most pleasurable experiences. But imagine if you felt increased pain, discomfort, or swelling during every meal. That's what happens to 12 out of every 1,000 people in the U.S. today. Salivary gland stones, or better known in the medical community as sialolithiases, is the formation of stones within the salivary gland or duct. It's one of the most common diseases of the salivary glands. Dr. Ryan Osborne, director of the Osborne Head and Neck Institute in Los Angeles, explains the causes and risks of this medical condition. What is sialolithiasis? It's a long word that essentially means you have stones either in the salivary gland or blocking the duct of the salivary gland. The causes of it are unknown. Just like we do not know what causes kidney stones, or gallstones. But we do believe that dehydration, increased minerals in the diet, potentially too much alcohol can be contributing factors, but they certainly do not cause these stones. Where do we see sialolithiasis the most? It usually occurs in the submandibular gland, which is located just under the mandible. However, we also have salivary glands called the parotid glands, which are located right on the sides of the face in front of the ear. But the most common location to get a stone is going to be in the submandibular gland. The most common method to treat sialolithiasis is surgery, but there can be severe risks and complications involved, says Dr. Jason Hamilton, a top-rated ENT physician, also from Osborne Head and Neck Institute. The major complication or risk of sialendoscopy or the standard treatment for sialolithiasis is facial nerve paralysis. That's what all the patients are concerned about. In the past, I was doing a lot of reconstructions of patients who've had incisions on their neck and may have had weakness of the face. But a new minimally invasive procedure called sialendoscopy is changing how the condition is treated. Originally performed in Europe, Dr. Osborne has pioneered its use in the United States. The benefits of sialendoscopy are, are very easy to understand. Uh, it is used for patients who are having trouble uh, either with stones uh, that are blocking the flow of their saliva in their salivary duct or potentially patients who have a narrowing. Sialendoscopy is a really simple procedure. A small camera is inserted through the natural opening of the salivary gland and we're able to visualize any stones that are blocking the duct or causing inflammation or infection in the neck. Through the same camera, we're able to grasp those stones and pull them out of the duct, which relieves the pressure, and any infection that's there is able to drain naturally through the normal opening. This groundbreaking same-day procedure also allows patients to return to a normal diet with full function of all their salivary glands almost immediately. Sialendoscopy is an outpatient procedure. So after the procedure, most patients go directly home. They are able to go back to a regular diet immediately, and the next day they can go back to work. It's a really speedy recovery, and patients don't have to spend any time in the hospital. There's no incision, so there's no pain, and they feel like themselves the next day. With the largest patient base in the country and North America, Osborne Head and Neck Institute is a world leader in the treatment of salivary gland disease. Their notable work in the field has advanced and even expanded the scope of use for sialendoscopy. Our organization has advanced and expanded the use of sialendoscopy to include not only small stones, but large stones as well, which traditionally would need a standard surgical procedure to be removed. Uh, this makes us a world leader because we're able to offer all patients with salivary gland stones a non-surgical option to treat their disease. As the premier treatment center of its kind in the Western Hemisphere, Osborne Head and Neck Institute is dedicated to continuing to implement advanced technology and research in the treatment of salivary gland disease. The future of salendoscopy and management of salivary gland stones is going to hinge upon the technology and the advances in it. Um, before the cameras we couldn't see. Now we have the cameras we can see. Now that we can see, it's all about what can you do with what you can see. 
and we do have some fairly sophisticated instrumentation right now. However, there's still instrumentation yet to be developed. So I see the future being advances in the development of this microscopic instrumentation, which will allow us to just push the envelope a little bit further. To learn more about Osborne Head and Neck Institute, visit OHNI.org. Ear, nose, throat specialists.